everybody. Today we're going to make some buttermilk walnut blueberry pancakes. Now you can make your pancakes without the blueberries because sometimes little ones don't like that and without the nuts. I'm going to do a blueberry syrup for you on another day so if you want to have that blueberry taste you could make a syrup. So we're going to start with one and one third cups of flour. We're going to add all of our dry ingredients together first, and then we're going to um, mix it with the wet. So we have three tablespoons of sugar. We have two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Whoops, that didn't all come out. And then we have three-fourths teaspoon of salt. So we want to mix those up just so you can't see the different textures of it so that it's pretty well mixed. And now we're going to add our wet ingredients. So let's start with our buttermilk. Let's bake it up a little bit. We're gonna add one and one fourth cups of buttermilk to this mixture. Okay, in it goes. Two tablespoons of melted butter. Okay, and then two eggs. I just get the brown large eggs. Okay, now we want to mix that well. Excuse me while I wipe that egg off my hand. Okay, we're going to mix that up pretty well, but not to the point where it's not lumpy. We want it to be lumpy so that when we make our pancakes, they'll have texture to them. If you stir it too much, the texture of the pancake is not going to be good. It's going to be flat, actually. Okay, so let's add our chopped walnuts. One cup chopped walnuts. And put those in with our wire whip. Okay, now we're going to add our blueberries. But we need a spoon for that. Because what we want to do is fold them in so that it doesn't smush them. So we're adding a cup of blueberries. We're just going to fold it in from the sides so that it gets mixed in there but it doesn't smush them. Okay, all right, our dough looks good. So now we have the griddle here, and we're gonna put them on the griddle. Now when you're cooking on the griddle, you can make your pancakes as big or as small as you would like. We make both sizes because we have grandchildren and adult children. So whenever you're cooking them on the griddle, how to know when to flip them over is when they start getting these little air holes in the tops. They get all these air holes and they become firm on the bottom and then you just flip them over on the other side. So since we're doing a video today though, I've already got some ready. So let me show you what you're gonna get, okay? These are the fluffy pancakes that you're gonna get from this batter and they have great texture to them. I think your whole family will enjoy them. So I'll see you next time. Thanks y'all, bye.